Hey guys, welcome to Agent Workflow. Um, this is the channel where we show you guys how to make some of the best AI agents using the latest AI tools uh, with the least amount of coding required and the lowest cost to do it. So if you're here, you're already one of the leading people who are looking for the latest tech. So um, thank you for showing up and subscribing. Today guys, we're gonna show you how to do um, the best uh, way to program with uh, combining DeepSeek with Claude using the plan and act feature that was just released by Klein. This way guys is actually the best way to do it because using plan and act we're able to reduce a lot of the pain points of um, the traditional way of coding. Um, we'll be using DeepSeq R1 to do the planning phase and Sonnet Act to do the execution. And the way, guys, um, I am going to show you guys, you'll be able to actually use Sonnet for free using the Git, Git, uh, GitHub Copilot. Um, yeah, so the agenda is to update to client to 3.2, add DeepSeq R1 API, and then add the Copilot API with Sonnet and then start developing an AI agent web app and profit, right? Um, okay, so what is so special about the new Klein guys is a um, bunch of things that came out at the same time. So this has just been a really nice time because the moment Klein came out, it's the same time Deep Sea came out. So this is kind of one of the earliest videos you're gonna see of how we're gonna combine together. So keep following this channel guys because I'm gonna put out new content like this so um incline the new feature in 3.2 that makes it revolutionary is this plan and act mode so if it will let us become almost like an architect and we gather information uh, iterate and fine-tune our solution uh, before we actually start using the expensive API keys of uh, a sonnet so one of the ways this is now made easier is also by this new feature, which is the quick API model switching. So we don't have to go to settings and do a lot of finicky stuff to change between the LLMs. It's as simple as switching at the bottom of the right hand side for you guys. And the way we're able to now also get the free GitHub 50 um, features from 50 Claude um, Sonnet features is through using the VS Code LM API. So use the, these three guys. I'm going to show you guys the best way to code. So um, why are we doing this um, two-tier plan of using DeepSeq and R R1 and Sonnet is because of this, guys. Uh, Petro actually had a crazy demo where he showed us that we're able to extract um, DeepSeq's R1 reasoning. Uh, and then pipe it to another LLM agents. So one of the benefits of that is guys is we can use the um, Deep seek which is we know we already know how cheap it is in this pricing right guys It's almost a hundred times cheaper, right? And but even though it's hundred times cheaper guys, it actually is performs um, just as well as um, Sonnet or Claude in its reasoning thinking so by using that, we're able to save a bunch of money, guys. So, um, we, you know, yeah, just to iterate again, you guys see the difference in the pricing between O1 and DeepSeek, but um, we know they both give the same similar results in the reasoning logic. Um, so, um, why is this a great way? Actually, the guys at Klein have released a new blog that kind of shows this so make sure you guys go and check this out if you want to see it so um what we're able to do is um, um is um use use the planning phase at with r1 at only 0.55 cents per million tokens and then execute um the actual coding with our finalized plan with Sonnet, which is $16 per million tokens. But the way I'm going to show you guys, you don't even have to pay that. Um, so, but in the worst case, guys, it, we're still going to see a 97% uh, reduction in fees by doing this method. Um, yeah, so how it works is in the planning phase, we're able to do um, deep um, exploration and system design 
without having to do the uh, actual uh, coding using the sonnet high fees. Um, the, before this, a lot of people were getting high fees because they were going back and forth. And when there was a mistake, we have to read edit and read called API and not only was it costing us but it was also very inefficient to um, code this way um, doing this way we are able to save a bunch yeah so and then when we switch to um, sonnet we're able to get a lot of the advantages of sonnet without uh, constantly calling it um, yeah so we'll show how we're able to do this guys here right here so as you can see when we go between the two models at the bottom um, we're able to switch between plan and act and by and we're able to switch between the models very fast using the little tab here so um, but like as these guys said I wanted to show you guys it's all about uh, using the right tool at the right time so we are doing this because this is the best way to do it but you know, in a couple of days, in a couple of weeks, there could be a better solution. And if there is, this is a channel for you guys to follow to find the best one. Okay, so let me show you guys how it's all done. So I'm gonna go to VS Code. Uh, this is an actually oh, a project I'm currently working on. Um, I'll show you guys everything how I did it. So first, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have a client installed and GitHub installed. And you know, to do that, you have to go to extensions and search for client and search for github copilot make sure you guys install them and make sure they are an auto update and uh, um, the latest versions running which is right now at 3.2.5 so once you're done guys go to a uh, client and then click on the gear in the gear make go to deep seek and put in your deep seek api and make sure guys you click reason or model that is the r1 model with this once you've done that you have selected your planning agent um, and then to do sonnet there's a few ways guys the most basic one is just to go to anthropic and enter the api key and click sonnet um, or you can go to open router get the api key and click sonnet um, or you can go to open ai compatible um, and do another one of the routers such as from hyperbolic or the other ones that offer sonnet but I'm going to show you guys the free method that currently works and it's really great we know that um, github gives the free version uh, github copilot gives 50 free API calls to sonnet so by installing the extension for github this will pop up and we basically just click sonnet here and we're able to run um, all of our complex tasks for free, guys. Um, so far, there hasn't been any issues with the uh, terms of service with GitHub, but this might change. If it does change, guys, just use Sonnet from um, the other traditional ways if you guys come to this sh um, channel in the future. Um, once you guys have done this, guys, close this and let's go back to here. So I want to show you guys, if you look on the right-hand side, how... Um, to um uh, how i have done the first on um, the top uh, when i'm in um when i'm in um when i'm in uh planning i go to deep seek right and i input it this uh token in you know let's create an ai web agent using bun viet and react that lets me drag and drop csv file extract a lead gen table using deep seek r1 and put the dot invite file for the api key and when i ran this guys it look it only cost me 0.7 cents to do this but what it's done is it's planned um it's planned the whole project for me guys before we even execute it so this is the planning part it planned everything the structure key dependencies security consideration and all the implementation even the, when i asked to integrate the deep ckbi with the dot env um after that I continue to do more planning guys so uh, what I did was I said let's add SQL add Shadon Redix and Tailwind CSS and make the whole thing modern minimalistic and add 3d drop shadows once that's done guys it it gave further updates on the uh, architect and when I was ready to do that I switch from plan to act but uh, make sure guys you switch your model when you go to um 
when you go to uh, act so I would go to VS code LM and then go to act and then you will run it so here we see all the executions that was done these are all done by um sonnet so it runs all the way it makes all the questions and it's done so as you can see my thing is here let me see how how it works guys bun uh, run dev there you go guys so let me see okay so um but yeah see guys if you see all the stuff on the right hand side db uh, schema um even the dot env file that we asked for right there running so if i wanted to do some more planning i can go back and say hey um why is the page still showing also So now I'm going to show you guys how it's done. Now we are in planning. See, when we're in planning, things will be a little bit slower because DeepSeq API is not the fastest. So here is the planning. It's done. Okay, so when I ask for this is the plan. So when I'm ready to execute, um, we switch this to VSM done. And then we go to act. Let's see how it performs, guys. But yeah, thanks, guys. Um, this is essentially how you will get some super super results while saving a bunch of money and this is probably the best way to code guys i think uh, you guys are gonna find a lot of use for this um tell me what you guys think and uh, what you guys like me to do on on this uh web page uh, on this channel moving forward uh, i really do appreciate everyone's comments they mean a lot and um we are seeing some tremendous growth on this channel so it's all thanks to you guys so um yeah keep uh, following for some of the latest okay guys uh, i'm gonna keep working on this um uh, but yeah i'll catch up with you guys real soon